What's up crafters? So if you've been playing around inside of Canva for a minute, you know that there are things called frames. And these frames are really neat. Just like the name suggests, you're able to put pictures inside of these to create a really cool design. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and import custom frames for use in Canva. And to give you an idea of what we're going to be going for, I created this custom egg frame where you can input three different photos like this and create something like this. And while I get that this design may not be totally appealing to everybody, there are some really great takeaways from this video that will get your juices flowing and get you set up today. Now my favorite vector program is Adobe Illustrator. I use the Adobe products for a lot of things, including my video editing. So me having that monthly subscription just makes sense for me. But I totally get that Adobe subscription is not something that everyone is trying to have. And if that is you, I also did this exact same thing inside of Inkscape. So inside of Adobe Illustrator, this was our three piece egg set. I'm gonna start from scratch and create a totally different frame so that you guys can see exactly the process. We're gonna create a new document. We're gonna go to file, new, and then I'm just gonna go with a six by six inch frame. Using the shape tool, I'm actually gonna pull in three different stars and we're just gonna create a really basic shape. This is just to show you the process. By all means, get creative with this thing. You can import silhouettes from different SVGs and really go all out. So selecting the star tool, we're gonna put a star here. I'm gonna duplicate that, create an additional star, kind of have it off to the side, and one more. make it a little more fun. We're going to change the sizes of some of these. Now that the basic idea is down here, what we're going to do is we are going to change the colors just so that we can see while we're working. And I'm going to take the outlines on all of these off. And I'm going to select the three items and I'm going to use the Pathfinder tool and trim so that we've got three separate shapes here. I'm going to ungroup these shapes so that I can go in and add a different picture. So I'm going to pull up three different photos and this is just going to give the program an opportunity to put something in the frame itself so that when we move over to Canva, we can take those items out. So resizing these down. I'm going to move these three images to the back here. I'm going to select this first star and the first image that we put in. I'm going to right click both of them and I'm going to do make clipping mask. I'm going to repeat the process for the second star, clicking that background image, right click, make clipping mask, and then again once more for this final piece. So now we have three different stars with three different images inside of them. So we're gonna go ahead and save this out. We're gonna go up to file, we're gonna go to export and then export for screens. Make sure that your export to is put into a location that you're gonna remember this because you're gonna wanna find this folder afterwards. You're gonna make sure that this format is over at PDF and then we're just gonna export the entire artboard. I do already have something like this saved out so this right here is gonna be the default. It's just gonna say artboard one. You're gonna go ahead and hit export. Replace should not be here, but we're gonna go ahead and hit replace because I already have this and I'm gonna save over it. And now we are going to find our PDF section and here's artboard one. When we open this, you're gonna see the three stars with our three different colors. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull up Canva and we're going to go to create a design. We're going to go to import file. We are going to pull up our PDF, artboard one. And you can see here that the artboard has been imported. So we're actually going to go ahead and click on this and it's going to open up a new screen. With the new canvas now open, what we're going to do is click on these stars and do detach image. From here, we can just go through and delete each and every one of these. And now you have three stars ready to go. So if you go on over to elements and we just type in anything. Oh, not videos, photos. So we'll pull in this photo. We'll do 
this one and this person. As you can see, we were able to put in three separate pictures into our custom frames. And the cool thing about this is the other stars that we had imported, we can actually change the colors inside of Canva. So being able to create custom frames is something that is really within your grasp. So now I did say that I have Adobe and I really love using that program, but not everyone wants to sign up for that subscription. So let me show you how to do the exact same thing inside of Inkscape. Now Inkscape is a free vector editing program. I don't have a ton of familiarity with it. So you're not going to find too many tutorials on my channel for Inkscape, but a lot of the things that I do inside of Adobe Illustrator, you can also do inside of Inkscape. So we're going to start with a blank document inside of Inkscape. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to throw in a couple of random shapes just to show you. But keep in mind, if you guys want to grab SVGs that are already done from places like Design Bundles or Creative Fabrica, using those silhouettes, you can actually do the exact same thing that I'm getting ready to walk you through. So I'm going to create a circle. We're going to have a square and we'll put in a star. Exact same process. We're going to drop in three different photos. When you do a drag and drop, a box might pop up like this. I just went ahead and hit OK. Hitting Control Shift L is going to pull up the layers panel so that you can navigate this a little bit easier. Taking a look at our layers panel, you can actually see our three shapes and our three images. We're going to go ahead and drag these images down as far as we can behind all of the shapes so that our shapes are on top. And then, of course, we have our images in the background. So by holding down the Shift key, we're going to select one of our images and then one of the shapes. We're going to right click and we're going to do to set clip. And we're going to repeat the process for each image and each shape. By the end of it, you should have something that looks like this. You're going to have three different shapes with three different images inside of it. From here, we're going to go up to File and we're going to go to Export. So when you go to Export, a box is going to pop up like this. We're going to slide on over to Custom. You're going to want to come down here and make sure that a PDF is selected. And then you're going to save it out in the appropriate folder. Make sure that you know where this is getting saved. This is also going to give you the opportunity to name your file. Hit save and whatever pops up here, I just went ahead and clicked OK. Now we are back over inside of Canva. We're going to go to create a design and we're going to go to import file. We're going to pull up our custom frames that we just created. As you can see, we have the circle, the square and the star. We're going to go to open. By clicking on the imported document, it's actually going to pop up another window. And from here, you can go through and detach all of the images. And you now have your custom frames. Once more, you can go through and add whatever pictures you want inside of each of those frames. Now, while Canva already had those certain shapes as frames, this should give you some inspiration and let you know that you can create things even further. So I highly recommend that you download a vector software and start getting familiar with the program. Your creativity will flourish so much more if you're able to get familiar with the programs to be able to create your own SVG files. If you found this video helpful and you want to know more about Canva and what it has to offer, be sure to check out this video here. I walk you through how to create an entire sublimation design all inside of Canva.